Welcome to Genuine Corner guys. This is the sixth video in the Android development tutorial series and in this video I will show you how to share your code to some other apps like WhatsApp or Facebook or your messaging app when we click on this share button. So for that I am going to give a name for this button, an ID for this button using the ID tag first. So Android ID equals, then I am going to give a new ID that is share button. So I have created a ID for this image button, and then I am going to the code pager adapter. Here, this is the place where we actually instantiate our objects and I mean in the text view and access them. Here also, we, can, we first have to access the image view object, the image button object. So image button btn equals, then I'm going for a type curse first, then layout.findViewID, just like before, find view by ID, then r.id. Then we have our share button. So we go the share button. Now what we have to do is we have to attach an on click listener for this image button. So set on click listener. Then we are going for creating a new on click listener using the new view dot on click listener. You just don't have to type this. All that you have to do is new then on click control space when you press control space you will get the list of available suggestion then go for on click listener so now we got the on click option now we have to share the code that is being displayed you from this on click option and that can be done using indents if you uh, for that i am going to use the documentation from android developer page and there is a page called sending simple data to other app for sending text content you can make use of this indent these indents are used for sending data to another applications or activating or creating or starting new activities which you will see later and first i am going to copy this code and paste it right here i haven't changed anything so the first thing of course i need is an indent so i just created an indent then you can see that there are a number of actions available using indent here we are sending data so we are using indent dot action send then in order to specify the content that we are going to send we can use the intent dot extra tag and then put uh, using the send in dot put extra we can actually add some content to the intent that is being uh, called so i'm going to add an extra text and here we are actually going to give the code that we are going to share so for that we have to get the code so string to share equals then we have our object dot first we will go for quote then we will give by then we will object dot order so uh, not order get order so now it will uh, have this format first quote then by then order then uh, for you can add your own text here send using genuine inspiration so that's fine now we got the text that to be shared now we are going to share that with the given application so send in the dot put extra then we are actually giving the text that we want to send then this means set type means we are actually sending a text data if you are sending an image using indent then here you will be giving image option then there is one more option start activity and uh, we can't start activity from a page adapter like this so i'm going to use the context context dot start activity a context is required for layout inflation and starting activity etc in the previous case we have used the context for layout inflated and here we are using it for the second time in order to start an activity so now let us run the program again So what happens is when this line of code executed, I mean context.stat activity, we will get a, a message for sending the option for selecting the application to send the data. 
that will be seen in a moment just let us just wait for completing the gradle build i hope you understood the code even though it seems actually difficult from uh, in the starting android is pretty simple to learn and once you get used to it you will be able to make tremendous application so now the gradle build completed launching activity so just one more moment so we got the like button and the share button so that buttons are available for all the codes now for this one now i am going to click on this share button and when i click on it you can see that there are option for selecting the app to which i want to share my data so from here onwards when you click on an app that app will receive the text that we have sent it will include the object.code and buy an object.get order so this is what uh, the app code the best and most beautiful cannot be touched by helen keller send using genuine inspiration app by the way this is my uh, application that is available in play store for checking grammar of seven languages for it does not detect all the grammar mistake but will detect some of the grammar mistakes of this much languages english uh, french catalan german etc etc if you have time just try it from the google play store so that's it that's the end of this video that's how we implement sharing in your android application so as always thank you for watching this video let me know your comments in the comment section and as always bye bye